hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is alice Nomalo. if you are new here and joining me for the first time please click the subscribe button down below to become part of my family and if you are a regular subscriber of this channel thank you for tuning back in thank you for watching my channel yet again so guys today i am back with another video i did um it is usually called um clean girl makeup look but then for me now, I did um, drugstore. Yeah, I did a drugstore step-by-step uh, -step makeup foundation for beginners. Yeah, for beginners. And then I used mostly affordable products that you can get at Lix, Discam, and then I also used Scarlet Hero. Yes. You can get skeleton for Mr. Price to create this look. So if you are interested on in seeing how I created this look, you can continue watching the video and see what I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next upload. I won't be able to talk during the creation of this video. But then if you want to see more, you can just watch the video and see what I did. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I see we've reached 200 subscribers. Please continue to subscribe, continue to share my videos so that we can reach a bigger and more audience. Let's begin. Okay guys, I already did my eyebrows and my eyeshadows. So we're going to start with, uh, I'm using the uh, Coppelia a face powder is from Avrosh Clay. I um, usually use that to I apply it on my skin after I've applied uh, my everything that I need to apply on my skin basically I then go on and apply the, the powder so that it can take the shine away. Yes, I um, uh, apply it on my face so that it can take the shine away before I put on my foundation. And it works better because it covers my spots most of the time. And then when I come in with foundation, then foundation just do the most. So yes. And then I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in the shade Mahogany. Yes, shade Mahogany. And then I'm just going to use a brush to pat the foundation on my skin. And then you need to blend the foundation until it looks like your skin. You need to blend, 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 blend. Your best friend is blending when it comes to makeup. So you need to blend, blend, and blend. I cannot emphasize this enough that you need to blend. Whenever doing this makeup look, you need to blend. You blend the foundation and then until it looks it. Until it start looking like your skin, then you know you've done it right. And then I've got my hair the disturbing me, so I'm trying to. I was trying to take it away. So yeah, you blend, blend, blend until you are happy with the blend. You blend, 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 blend. As you can see, guys, I'm not putting too much foundation on my under eyes and that is because I have a reason and then I'm using the LA girl concealer in the shade um fawn yes I'm using the LA gay concealer in the shade fawn for my under eye and then to to basically highlight my face I'm using the concealer LA girl concealer in the shade fawn so i'm just gonna put it under my under eye because i cannot put makeup on my under eye and then put foundation too much foundation and then knowing that i'm still gonna use concealer that's why i was not putting too much foundation on my under eye like i was staying away from my under eye when applying and blending the foundation so i'm just gonna put the concealer on my 
mustache guys because me not have got a mustache i don't know about you guys but me not have got a mustache so i'm just gonna try to cover my mustache with the concealer and then i know i'm gonna get into trouble with miss Bassi because i'm busy yawning on this video but then guys you have to forgive me when it comes to that and then while waiting for the concealer to dry i'm gonna try try attempt to put on my eyelashes this is the only struggle that i have when it comes to makeup putting on eyelashes but today i think i'm gonna be proud of myself because i even managed to do it on camera i struggle whenever i put eyelashes on it's a struggle for me i'm telling you guys and i've recently started loving eyelashes so even though i'm struggling with them but then i'm still gonna put them anyways so it's a struggle i choose for i chose for myself so i won't blame anyone we've got one lash on and then we're waiting for the other one to go on the other side but it, it seems like on this one if i get one right one eyelash right the other one i'm gonna get wrong i don't know how i don't know why it happens but it always happens like that if i get one eyelash and sticks and staying properly on the eye and the other one is going to give me problems just continue watching the video you will see what i mean so i'm already stuck the other one on and then i think i'm winning but yeah when it comes to eyelashes it's always a struggle for me it is always a struggle and i've accepted that it is a struggle and i've accepted that whenever i do makeup this is where i take longer when it comes to makeup whenever i put eyelashes on i take longer because they don't want to cooperate with me so yeah i take longer if i have to put on eyelashes but okay for me now i've recently discovered that eyelashes make a whole difference in a makeup look like they take your makeup from five to ten so at least i've managed to put that one on and then i'm gonna reach for my small sponge from Shein and blend the concealer but one thing about me guys i don't like using sponges i i prefer brushes most of the time i don't know why but i prefer brushes i'm blending the concealer using the brush i've let the concealer sit on my face for almost five minutes or three minutes or so so i'm trying to blend the concealer out in the using the brush i think using the sponge and then the blending sponge or the blender or something like that but the sponge so i see the sponge is not working for me i reach for my brush the brush that i use to apply foundation i basically do most of everything with the same brush you know? whenever i do foundation and highlight i use the same brush so i rest for my brush because the a, a, a sponge okay i think there we go again the eyelash i told you guys if i get one right i'm gonna get the other one wrong i don't know why i don't know how but it always happens like this and sometimes i just feel like i should just remove the eyelashes and continue with my life but then because recently i've fallen in love with them i have to so i continue blending the concealer that i've put and then i'm checking for any harsh lines because i'm using the brush only so i'm checking if i can see any harsh lines or any unblended lines so that i can correct them i'm gonna use my avon mac powder to set the concealer that i've applied to set the concealer in the areas that i've highlighted but then another thing with me is that i love the avon powder so much that i use it on my whole face i don't know why but i've recently started loving it 
and using it on my whole face because it just disappear into the skin and then your skin is gonna be made the whole day so i'm gonna put the powder on my eyebrows as well and then it's gonna disappear my eyebrows won't look white as they look now it's gonna disappear so i'm using that to set all the places and i'm gonna use the scarlet hill uh contour contour palette to just contour my my face i'm, I'm gonna use the darkest shade to contour my my face because i've used the a setting powder on my whole face i look like a ghost so this contour palette is gonna help me it's gonna bring balance i think to my face so yeah i'm contouring using the scarlet hill contour palette and then i'm just gonna contour i'm just gonna contour my whole face where i think i need contouring i'm just gonna contour my whole face and then just continue, gonna continue checking for anything that i did wrong and correct it because with makeup you can correct and you can erase whatever you feel like it's not for you or it's not working you can erase it but Bina, so far i think i've got it so yeah as i look as i look at myself in the mirror i start to see the change i start to feel the makeup Mina for Mina guys makeup it 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 i don't know it just takes my mood from zero to hundred i don't know and then i'm gonna contour my nose with the same contour palette from scarlet hill i'm gonna contour my nose and then what i do when contouring my nose i just uh draw visible lines and then i try to blend them i don't know whether you understand but i just draw visible lines that you can see and then i blend the lines away that's how I basically contour my nose. That's how I basically contour my nose. I'm going to reach for a, another small blending brush and try to blend the visible lines so that they can disappear. And then my nose can be snatched. And then looking at the mirror, I'm loving what I see. That's why I'm smiling. Just looking at the mirror and I'm loving what I see and then that just brings a smile to my face and then i'm gonna reach for my i am going to reach for my i don't know what i was looking for the but we'll see when i find whatever i was looking for but then uh yeah we'll just see guys oh i was looking for my glue eyelash glue because the lash was still giving me problems and i was like so close to taking the lashes out because i was so tired of fixing them the other one got powder i got powder when i was setting the concealer i got powder on the other lash but it's cooperating well unlike the other one so i'm just gonna use my brush to dust off the whiteness of the the setting powder that i used just gonna use my brush to dust off the setting powder and the hair is disturbing me the hair and the eyelash on the other side they were not cooperating with me i tried to put the eyelash on but then i noticed that the glue is not completely dry or it's not takey it is still not working so i'm just gonna continue doing the other things and the hair still disturbing me so yeah maybe next time i should have a scarf on or something to cover the hair but i'm just gonna try and blend everything so that um i can look normal i shouldn't look like a ghost i should look normal going back to the eyelash and then this thing will irritate me like i don't know but yeah eyelashes 
I love them, but they are a struggle for me. I always find it fascinating when people just put an eyelashes, eyelashes within three minutes because Mina is always a struggle for me. It is always a struggle for me, and I've made peace with that. So, yeah. And then I'm going to reach for my eyeliner and put eyeliner on my waterline. <laughs> just gonna line my waterline with a black eyeliner now i just like it i think it it i just like it i think it just brings balance to my eyes because hey, my eyes some people are saying i've got small eyes some people are saying that whatever hey, but i'm just uh lining my waterline with a black pencil i also got it from avon as well apparently it's a black glimmer stick or something Yes, I'm lining my other eye, my waterline, and then going back to the lash that is giving me problems. I think this lash is going to be the only problem I face creating this makeup look because it was so simple and it literally took me about 20 minutes to complete the whole look. So yeah, but the, the eyelash was not cooperating, Shem, I don't want to lie. I don't wanna lie, it was not cooperating. I don't think that was the last time fixing it. So I'm gonna line my lips with a brown pencil. But then after this part, I think I realized that I've put too much gloss on my lips. So the pencil was not lining the way I wanted it to because I had a lip gloss on. And then I did not want my lips to get dry to get dry while doing this foundation look. So I'm gonna go in with the Avosling lipstick, I think in the color nude or suede something. I can't remember the shade, and I'm gonna top it up with another with an Avon lipstick with the same color. I just think when I mix the two, they give me a perfect color. But if I use one, then they don't look good on me. Going back with the eyeliner, uh, eyebrow pencil, again, lining my lips. But because of the gloss, it was not working. So I had to do, I had to make a plan. I had to make a plan. So I just went back with my brush to check my foundation, to check my powder. And I was looking for my setting spray because I could not see my setting spray. There, I found it. I found my setting spray. And then I'm just going to drench myself with the setting spray. And the Scarlet Hill Setting Spray, I like it, but it has a funny smell. It has this overwhelming smell. Me trying to try the setting spray with my... I think... Yeah. That's me trying to... Okay... I think the setting spray is now set into the face and then I'm going to go back to the eyelash that is giving me problem but I promise you I was fixing this eyelash for the last time I was just going to let it be I was tired of fixing it and then I'm going to go into my Avoslane blush this blush is so pigmented guys I plan to use a little, but I ended up using too much because it's so pigmented. I think you just need to tap on it once and then you will get like too much coverage. And then whenever trying to diffuse blush, whenever trying to do away with blush, you know, it's a problem. So I just let it be because I put too much on the other side. I then decided to put too much on the other side as well. 
to make it look like it was done on purpose but again it wasn't done on purpose because uh, it just happened i did it too they didn't do it on purpose it just happened so yeah me going back to the lash with the eyelash glue again yeah at this stage i think i was irritated already i was so irritated already but then it had to be done I had to do it. So yeah. I waited for the glue to dry this time. Before I can do anything to it. Because I think I was doing too much already. And then I went back to the contour palette again. The highlight and contour palette. And then I highlighted my nose. I highlighted my nose and my my brow bones i think yeah my eyebrow, my eyebrow bones i highlighted my nose and my eyebrow bone with the highlighter from scarlet hair the highlighter looks beautiful and then i highlighted my other my upper lip as well i don't know what it does but then i like doing it so Hence, you see me doing it. I don't know what it does, but I like doing it. I do it on almost every foundation look that I do. I always highlight my upper lip. And then that's me highlighting my brow bone. So that everything can come together, I think. But I already see where this look is going. So, yeah. And I'm happy with how it came out. So, yeah. You guys just continue watching me doing it and then you tell me what you think about it in the comment section going back to the eyelash but this was the last time i went back to it i was done like i was no longer friends with the eyelash whether it stuck on or not i was no longer friends with it i went back to the lips again because i the color did not come out the way I wanted it to come out. But then I went back and lined again. Lined again with the brown pencil. And then I'm going to use the same comb for the lips that I used. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please comment down below what you think. And you can comment down below anything, guys. Really, the comment section is meant for... You guys to comment underneath yeah so you can comment down below and tell me what you think of this look because i think when i got on this part i was basically done i was just doing touch-ups where i think i needed to do touch-ups so i was basically done just doing touch-ups on the lips and yeah and then i just needed to comb my hair and then that was it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope you guys are subscribed i hope you guys liked the video as well you just hit the like button while busy watching the video guys it's not that hard you don't even pay for subscription you don't even pay for liking you don't even pay for commenting you subscribe once you watch every time i post a video you comment you like please like my videos guys you can even like before watching because you know you're gonna like it anyway so please just like my videos i hope you enjoyed watching guys i hope you enjoyed because when i did enjoy filming this video i did so yeah I think that's basically everything about it. You tell me what you think of this look. You tell me where.